All right, I'm gonna show you how to do some self-correcting with a Desmos card sort. The code in, is, in computation layer is really, really simple. I'm gonna walk you through my thought process. It's super simple, and then you're just gonna know it off the top of your head. So let, let's get started. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm logged into Desmos. I'm gonna click new activity up here in the upper right-hand corner. Oh, let's call this card sort with self-correcting all right and there you go i'm going to click new create <clears throat> and the first thing i'm going to do is i need to create uh a card sort so let's do oh classic let's do uno dos trace one two three and then I will drag in some images. All right. And then now we've got the, the card sort itself, but you have to have the answer key. So it's really quick. And the way I kind of put it in, it makes it really easy for me to make my answer key. And there's my answer key. So I've got my answer key and I am now ready for the code. So here's where the code is. There's two places where you might see a computation layer. There's this one way over here on the right, but we're actually gonna do the one way over here in the screen subtitle right here. So I'm gonna click on that. And the three kind of components, really, I guess it's gonna be four, is first thing we need to do is we need to indicate how many cards, total cards, on the screen all right so th that's going to be a variable and then another uh variable is uh cards that are correct that's going to be a variable and then i'm going to do some feedback all right now the feedback is when it's correct i want it to say congratulations you are done uh, and then when it is in progress and I'm gonna of course explain what the, the actual coding there is is I'll say you have X X X X X out of Y Y Y Y Y cards correct so you have X oh let's just put cards out of Y cards correct and then I'll say otherwise I want you to just say nothing there's that otherwise and then what we're gonna do down here is we're gonna put in the subtitle now this is where it indicates this is where the message is gonna be presented for the students and uh, for the we're just gonna put in the feedback so I'm gonna do that quotation dollar sign bracket and I'm gonna say feedback all right so here's the cards on screen here's the cards that are correct so this is the total this is the ones that are correct out of the total here's the feedback when it's correct you're gonna say congratulations when it's still in progress you're gonna say well you have five cards out of nine cards correct whatever otherwise you're just gonna say nothing at all so really this is necessary right here uh, although we're never going to get there because we're either going to be correct or we're going to be in progress and then the subtitle is where you actually display it on the screen for the students now one of the things we need to do is we need to name this card sort screen right here so I'll call this card sort screen and it's important that we name that because uh, that's going to be part of the code all right so for total cards on screen all right so we named it the card sort screen so i'm going to type that and once i name it it's gonna it's gonna try and help me and i'm gonna click alias and then i'm gonna hit the dot and oh total cards on screen yeah total correct cards what no no i don't want total correct cards i want total cards right there what bam cards that are correct okay again i'm gonna type in the name of the card sort screen there it is it's called card sort screen and then i'm gonna hit dot and i'm gonna say ah the cards that are correct so far so i'm gonna click this one right here the total correct cards and you'll notice those error alerts went away because i've got it 
I've named, the, this is the name of the screen, and that's the function or the variable, or the function, and then that's the variable over here. Okay, now for the feedback. So what's the, what is the state? What condition means it's correct? Well, when the total card, when the cards that are correct is equal to the total cards on the screen. All right, so, so it's when cards that are correct is equal to the total cards on the screen. So basically when, when all the cards that are correct is equal to all the cards that there are, that means it's correct. And in which case it's gonna say, congratulations. Now in progress, this is where it's like, it's not correct. So we're gonna do not, and then we're doing some parentheses right there. And I'm gonna put in this thing right here. Wa bam. So when it's correct, meaning the cards that are correct is equal to the all the total cards on the screen, it's gonna say congratulations right here. When it's not correct, you're gonna say, well, you have X number of cards out of Y cards. Oh, well, here it is. Cards that are correct is the X right here. So I'm gonna do a uh, dollar sign, bracket, bracket. I'm gonna put, you have cards that are correct out of, and then we're gonna do the total cards on the screen. So I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna replace that Y with dollar sign, bracket, bracket. I'm gonna put in that. And look at that, all of our errors went away. So here, let's quickly go through this again. So we've got, here's the total cards on the screen right here. This is the running list of the, or the running count of how many cards are correct out of the total. So when it's correct, meaning the running list, the running total that are correct is equal to the total cards on the screen, then you're gonna say, yay! When it's not that condition, meaning it's still in progress, it says, well, you have this number of cards correct out of the total, and then uh, put that on the subtitle. All right, so now when I hit done, and I can hit preview, well, bam, it says, oh, look at that. You have zero cards out of nine cards correct. And so when I start to place them, oh, you'll notice it's a running total. Three cards, uh, the number three and trace go together. Number one and uno, uh, three goes together. And you'll notice as I'm putting these sets together, I'm getting it. Now, if I put a one over here, oh, it went down, didn't it? All right, and I'm gonna put that back. And there, oh, congratulations, you are done. And that is, uh, that puts, that's it. I mean, it's pretty darn simple in terms of how to do this. Uh, it's, uh, just simple coding. Uh, let's get back to that code right here, right there. Wah, bam, there is your code. The big key thing is, making sure you remember to name your card sort, your screen, that slide thingy thing. All right, and there you go.